It started as a hit and run accident, but ended when a driver took his own life behind the wheel. Tell me your side's Ava Hurdle reports he put several other people in danger in the process. High above from Chopper 10, you can see where this 2009 Mitsubishi crashed into a tree. This around 6 Monday night at the intersection of Stone Shore and Holland Roads. Wayne Bentz was working nearby. I heard a car crash over there by the trees and then I heard a gunshot. Bentz then went over to see if he could help, but it was too late for the driver, 25-year-old Maurice Busey of Virginia Beach. He also says the car caught on fire, that he and others grabbed extinguishers to put it out. It was not the only danger. There was a lady over there who almost got hit by the guy coming across the traffic. She said he was driving right alongside of him, and he meant to make a right-hand turn as hard as he could pulling into that thing. And he, I guess he counter-steered, and he ran through the railroad signs, that, the railroad stack signs that are up there. Police say it all started blocks away at the intersection of Holland and Rosemont Roads, where Busey hit a car and kept going. Another man working near the crash scene didn't want to release his identity, but says luckily no one got hurt. Oh, he's coming 45 miles an hour down Holland. Hey, he could have taken out people on the sidewalk. He could have taken out, I mean, if, if, you know, kids there in a the car, it would have taken them out because he jumped. He was going fast enough to jump that curve completely and still end up on top of the hill. He says the mishap tied up traffic for some time. A medical examiner confirmed the driver died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. In Virginia Beach, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Virginia Beach police are still investigating.